Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back here at my friend Dean's facility, SoCal Classic Car Storage, and I'm here with Cody. As I understand, you're a three-time cancer survivor. Yeah. And you're 22 years old. Yeah. I'm actually speechless on that one, truthfully. And then as I also understand, this truck was built by Make-A-Wish? Make-A-Wish did the paint and interior. Did you pick the color on it? Yeah, I picked everything on you it. You picked everything. You everything. said, this is how I want it built. This is how I want it. Okay. <laughs> Right on. One place I always like to start is popping the hood and seeing what's going on under here. Nice. You went old school on here. That's a 383. Very cool, man. That's rare anymore. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Pretty much everything's LS. Or if it's Ford, it's Coyote. I mean, it's cool to see an old school motor in here. And what is the transmission that you have? It's a turbo 400. Okay. After that, frame and everything else just kept snowballing down. So is, is it a full custom frame on this? Uh, it's a front and back hat. It's from GSI Machine Fabrication. They're out of Arizona. And then obviously you're sitting on air. Yeah. I take it from this big sponsor air thing there. Air they helped you out a little bit on this one? Yeah. Nice. I, I did have AccuAir, but they went on business. And yeah. So I switched over to airlift. Yeah. yeah. Now this is all custom, right? This is. Yeah. This isn't the typical inner wells. Yeah, they're from uh, Venata Fabrication. What are your A-arms and stuff suspension-wise? What have you done? Um, it's all GSI machine fabrication. Got it. So it's all part yeah, of it's the, all, the... it's all a kit. And what's the exhaust? Because this thing's got a really... Is uh, that glass packs? No, it's got a uh, Black Widow exhaust and neighbor haters. Those are the neighbor haters? Yeah. Wow, they're not... It, Okay, yeah. different tone on this one. I've heard yeah. those on LSs and they sound radically different, right. you know? Well, I used to have turndowns and it was kicking up all kinds of dust. Got it. So I rerouted it to the back and okay. that's what made it sound totally different. Do you, by chance, do you know the name of the color? Like a lot of guys know their uh, color it's a, code. It's a Strato Blue. It's, um, from House of Color. Oh, okay. Yeah. That explains why it's so bright and so, vibrant yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And I love that you did pinstriping on here, man. But is it is it just on the hood? Uh, hood and the tailgate. On the tailgate as well? Okay. Now, obviously, you've done brakes, right? Yeah. I see, is it CPP? CDP, is that what I'm seeing? All the way around the big brake kit. Okay. And they're completely hidden behind your big steely wheels. Yeah. Dude, I love your wheel choice on here. Yeah. They're, I mean, bud, pretty they're budnick smoothies are a full billet. I got the center powder coated and those are NOS uh, hubcaps. I like your choices on this, dude. It's, it's, you can tell it's one of those that's like, you weren't trying to copy what you've right. seen before. You really went with your own flavor here. I mean, cause the contrast is pretty radical. The yeah. deep blue and then the bright white, you know? Is this a full custom interior or is this like, I know there's a lot of companies doing interior packages um, now. No, I think it's just wrapped with leather. Just recovered the yeah, stock just seat? Yeah, recovered. Mm -hmm. Try to keep the dash original. But but upgraded gauges, right? Or are those original those gauges? Those are original gauges. No kidding. Were they restored or something? Or yeah. were they just that clean? That clean. Really? I see B&M shifter, yeah? Yeah. What prompted you to go air? You like that aired out look when you park it? So I wasn't even planning on putting this on bags. I was planning on just lowering it and do a static drop. Mm -hmm. And GSI was like, all right, we'll give you a frame with that's gonna be on bags. Originally it was a long bed. We made a short bed. And I was like, all right, let's do bags. And I said, I want it as low as it could go. Cause it, nothing touches though, right? Oh, it's, I, on, it's on frame. It is yeah, sitting on, on the, frame. It's on the frame. Got it, okay. Crazy, dude. This is so cool. I love how you left this exposed back here. I think it's fun to see this stuff, you know? Yeah. Most guys do the tote bed. 
I was like, I don't want to copy everyone else. Is that else. the one that pops up? Yeah. So you can, yeah, sure. That's so cool though, that that many people got on board to support you. Yeah, these are all my sponsors. Powerboat Tools just sponsored me. That's really cool, Cody. Something else, you guys, Cody's a singer songwriter. So stick around at the end of the video, you guys. Cody and I are gonna play a song, man. Yeah. One, of, one of your original songs. I take it you wrote that. Yeah, I wrote it. Kind of. Uh, so kind of mentions a lot of what you've gone through, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah, so I wrote it before I relapsed this third time and not thinking I was already done with cancer, finished and all that, but then I relapsed and then it related even more with me. Got with it. The relapse. Yeah. All right, back to the truck. And then so you're running a fuel cell instead of a traditional tank, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Really cool setup. What's your what's the rear end in this? Is this all part of GSI's setup? Uh, no, it's GSI setup is just the frame. Got it. And then the four link and all that. Mm -hmm. But the rear end is uh, 373 gears in it. Okay. Well, dude, I think it's time we fire up the truck. Let's go for a little cruise, yeah. All right, cool. cool. Yeah, let's do it. Today's episode is being brought to you by Elide Fire. Stick around, you might learn something that could save your life or someone you love's life. The Elide Fireball was designed to be used in multiple applications. The engine bay of your car, inside of a boat, your house, anywhere where you could run the risk of fire. The Elide Fireball doesn't ignite upon heat. It ignites to an open flame. Three to five seconds of a flame hitting the fireball, it blows a non-toxic powder all over the flame and puts it out and saves your life. If you're interested in purchasing the Elide Fireball, go to elidefireus.com and make sure to use the code HOTROD to get a 20% discount. Now let's go for a drive, you guys. Man, it is not quiet, is it? <laughs> Black Widow has the best names for their exhaust too, yeah. right? Yeah. I love like, what is it? The Angry Housewife, Neighbor Hater. Yeah. Yeah, that is that Black Widow sound. Now I can tell. Funny bags are bags for me are one of those things on. I see people put them on certain vehicles like performance vehicles, and I go, yeah. God, why would you do that, man? Why? I mean, right. I, I I don't want bags on a performance, but on a cruiser, dude, nothing yeah. cooler than pulling up, airing it out. I do it all the time. I lift up the front, lower it. Yeah. Get people's attention. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're getting people's attention with this thing. It's yeah. bright friggin' blue with white wheels. Yeah. It's far from quiet. Yeah. <laughs> How fun, man. Would you say two months it's been done? Uh, something like that. Two, two and a half months. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I bet you get that yeah, nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I mean, it's, a, it's such an eye-popping color on here. And the white wheels just really set it out. What size are the wheels on here? They're 20s. They are, okay. Yeah. Does that freak you out when you hear the scrape or are you totally used to it? Yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> My heart just jumped in. <laughs> like, ah, something's scraping.
like that. I wasn't expecting that, Cody. All right, you guys, like we promised you, Cody's going to sing you a song, and this is our way of uh, saying thanks for hanging out and watching what we do here. Appreciate it. Well, they put me through the ringer, was allergic to the light. I can laugh about it now. As I put up the fight Yeah, you know I had my moments I ought to stand on my two feet But I ain't one for giving up Put the word out on the street Gonna get up off the mat Peel myself up off the floor Like a bicycle close to losing But I'll come back for more Gonna get up off the mat Cause there's too much left to do I didn't pick this fight myself But I'm gonna see it through I'm off the mat I'm off the mat You can't keep 